three beautifully painted orange biplanes, distinctive rasping noisy engine note, and on top three girls on the wing. This is the 2016 Breitling Wingwalkers. by Vic Norman's Aero Superbatics Company. Oh, now, Aero Superbatics has, with its wing walking displays, rekindled something of the spirit of flying in the interwar years. A barnstorming display, one might call it. That's a term that derives from the days between the wars when pilots who had experienced the excitement of flying in the First World War and with various war surplus aircraft, they started flying from town to town across the United States, sleeping in barns overnight. It's the first barnstorming during the day, giving a series of increasingly spectacular displays. Emily's in her third year as a Brightling wing walker, but it's her first season as a lead wing walker. First, Emily thought she'd like to go at it herself and joined up. And they really come from her. She was immediately hooked. And she is a dancer who's very keen on fitness and adventure. Nikita, meanwhile, studied psychology and sociology at Cardiff University. She comes from Boston. Here after her studies, she saw a vacancy for a new wing walker and once again was extremely tempted. She joined the team in 2013. This is their final pass and we now see the girls have descended from the rigs and are sitting on the front of the top wing. Do give them a wave as they pass by. Really not an easy occupation at times, especially in conditions less clement than we have today. As for the pilots, the formation being led today by Dave The next aircraft on the program that we're going to see is the MiG-29 force at uh, RAF Wadisham. Uh, and it was around about that time that uh, the MiG-29 first came into service uh, with uh, the Soviet Air Forces at the time. The aircraft was capable of and what sort of weapon system it had. But uh, fast forward that to 1991 and the fall of the Berlin Sea of the Czechoslovakian Air Force as they were inbound to the International Air Tattoo that year. It was, it was an aircraft you prepared in the RAF's frontline fighter force to counter for so many years. We had, and, uh, most of the data we took was kind of a blend between the F-15 and the F-16. Um, but little did we know that the weapons system on the aircraft...